Hey guys, welcome to the second video on Newman projections. This one's going to be all about how we rotate uh, the bonds in Newman projections to show molecules in a different uh, conformation. All right, and so if you watched the last video, you'd see that we left off here just showing the general idea of how you can uh, draw a Newman structure based on the compound given to you. And so today we're going to be going through a little bit of that again and also how we can rotate them. All right. So I redrew the one, the example above um, slightly differently. And so you can see that I colored uh, one of the hydrogens off the blue carbon as green. And I colored one of the hydrogens off the red carbon as purple. So let's first put this in the Newman structure. And the way that they'll ask you to do this on a test is they'll say, um, so essentially, if it's a multiple choice question, they'll say select the, Newman, the correct Newman structure of this compound looking down the C1, C2 bond. And so if this is C1, and that's C2, and they say looking, uh, looking down the C1, C2 bond, that means they want the C1 bond in front. So... Here's our little eye, right? And so we're going to stare at this molecule down like that, okay? So from the front, so that carbon 1 is directly in front of carbon 2. So if you want to pause this video right now and try it from what you've seen in the previous videos or the lecture, feel free to do so, and then you can check it uh, by watching the video. All right, so let's get started. Carbon 1, we'll put as that dot. And so our hydrogen one is coming in the plane of the paper, and so we can draw, and it's in a downward angle, so we can come draw it coming down, and it was that green one, so let's draw it right there. We'll label the number one. The wedge hydrogen two is coming out of the paper towards us, and since we're looking at this, so carbon one is in front, it's going to now be coming out of the left, like this. So we draw that hydrogen. That's hydrogen 2. Hydrogen 3 is dashed and it's coming out of the paper but away from us. And since the way that we're looking at it is so that carbon 1 is in front now, it's going to be coming out of the kind of the top angle to the right. And so we have finished doing that carbon 1, so now let's focus on carbon 2. Remember, since carbon 1 is in front, it's covering carbon 2, so we just draw it like this. That's carbon 2, and now let's focus on the hydrogens. Let's start with hydrogen 4, the one that has that solid single uh, single bond. So that's coming, it, the solid line is in the plane of the paper, so it's flat with the paper. When we rotate the paper, it's going to be now uh, coming out straight in this way. That hydrogen, that purple hydrogen labeled as hydrogen 6 is wedged. It's coming at us now. And so when we rotate this molecule, it's going to now be coming out of the left and the downward angle. Right? And so we just draw this, label it 6. And that hydrogen labeled as hydrogen 5 is dashed. It's coming out of the paper away from us. So when we rotate this molecule, it's now going to be on the right. And if you're still having trouble visualizing this, you try to look at this example I'm about to just show you really quickly. We have a piece of paper, right? Our solid single bond is this is going to be flat right now. Our wedged bond is going to be coming at us. So um, if we're looking at this, the wedge is going to be coming at us and the dash is going to be coming out of the paper and so if I rotate this paper rotate so that I'm looking down the straight edge of it it's going to look like this straight line you're not going to be able to see that flat horizontal that flat green line anymore because it's in the plane of it and if we're, here's our eye and so the wedge is now going to be coming out like this, right? And that dash is coming out behind the paper, like that. 
All right, so the, in case it was still a little bit confusing, I hope that one, that example makes it a little bit clearer. So I'm just going to erase that just to give myself some more room. So we have our Newman projection. So the thing about um, alkanes, which all these molecules are, is that they are all sp3 hybridized, which means they have single bonds only. Single bonds have this feature where they're able to rotate freely. All right, so essentially the molecule, if we have a carbon chain like this, right, that's one way of drawing it. But the thing is, because single bonds can rotate, we can essentially take this bond right here in blue and rotate it a bit. That was bad. And rotate it so that it's now like that. This is our blue bond now. And it doesn't affect the molecule at all in terms of uh, reactivity. It's because single bonds constantly uh, flip back and forth between how they're rotated. All right. And so that's a defining feature of alkanes. And that's central to the idea of Newman projections. So what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this Newman projection. And then we're going to see how that affects the structure when we redraw it like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the um, this green hydrogen over here. All right, all the hydrogens along that. And so when we rotate this carbon over here, let's see, get a different color. So we're going to take this and we're going to rotate it. Okay. And so the way we're going to rotate it is we're going to rotate it clockwise. Okay. And so how do you now, uh, how do we go about drawing Newman projections rotated? So the key thing to remember is that because single bonds can rotate and we have these 3D um, wedges and dashes, right? They represent something coming at us. We have to be extremely careful about how we're going to be doing this. So let's try to rotate this green hydrogen and put it where this hydrogen two is. All right. So everything along that perp that blue carbon will be rotated. So it'll be clear when I do it. So let's draw our blue hydrogen, uh, blue carbon. And so we're not going to be touching that red carbon or anything on it. So we can just redraw it all, all the same. So let's do that first, just in order to make sure that we're keeping everything consistent. You don't want to make any, uh, sloppy mistakes that could have easily been avoided. So just label them. And this is a good thing to do on exams is to, uh, whenever you're doing something with organic chemistry, to redraw everything that isn't being changed in any reaction or anything, just redraw that first. That way you know you have what hasn't changed down already. And you can focus on what has changed. Because having what you know, what uh, having written down what you know did not change minimizes the chance that you're going to make a mistake when you copy it down. So everything on that red carbon hasn't rotated, and we're going to rotate this hydrogen right here, hydrogen one, to the position of hydrogen two. Okay, so we're going to put it up here. There's our hydrogen one, and everything is going to rotate the same. Uh, the e an equal distance, okay? So let's see. We're going to have hydrogen 2 has rotated also. And then we have that hydrogen 3. All right. And so all we've done is we've simply rotated that uh, green hydrogen into the position of hydrogen two, okay? And we can associate that rotation with a specific you know, set of degrees. Uh, one full turn is gonna be 360 degrees. And what we did is we rotated it 120 degrees. So we did a 120 degree rotation clockwise, okay? So now you can see that hydrogen one, it used to be right over there, is now right over there. That's 
uh, and you can use it almost use that purple hydrogen as a way to see how hydrogen that green hydrogen has changed. So now we need to redraw it back in this normal chain form. All right. Now you're going to see why uh, how Newman projections can help us visualize this. Oh, um, made a mistake over here. These should be connected to that blue carbon center. That was my mistake. So now let's redraw it in the chain. Easiest way to do this is start with the carbons that, like you see that red carbon and that blue carbon, that's the easiest way to start. So let's start with carbon, the blue carbon, our bond, and then our red carbon. And then the next easiest step is to pick the hydrogens that are already in the plane. So the ones coming straight up and the ones coming straight down. Those are always the easiest one to draw. So we see that our H3, no, hydrogen 3, is coming from the blue carbon directly downward. So we can just draw it simply coming down, H, label that 3. And on the red one, it's coming up, and that's going to be hydrogen 4. So we can draw like this, hydrogen 4. So those are the easiest ones to always draw. And now let's look at let's focus on the red carbon first just because we never changed that. So it should be exactly the same as what it was there. But we're going to we're not going to look at that diagram. We're going to look at what's done here and reverse engineer it. So if we're looking at it with the blue carbon in front of the red in the Newman and we've now rotated it essentially this way so that the blue carbon is on the right-hand side, that means that this um, hydrogen 6, we're going to do this one first, is now going to be coming at us, right? So if it's coming at us now, that means it's going to be wedged, and we can see it's coming on a downward angle, and so we have to draw it now this way. Just make that bigger. So uh, that's our hydrogen 6. And now let's look at our hydrogen 5 over here. And so again, our blue carbon is uh, in front of our red carbon in the Newman. And since now we're going to rotate it again this way so that the blue carbon shifts and is now towards the right, it's going to mean that the H5 is going to rotate so that it's kind of coming out the back of the paper. And so that means it's dashed, and again, it's down on a downward angle, so we just draw it coming down. So here's our H. And now we have our red carbons. So let's look at the, um, the blue carbon. So we already have one of them, the one that's in the plane. That's the easiest one to draw. So let's focus on the green one, hydrogen 1 over here. So right now, again, remember, we're looking at it so that in the Newman, that the blue carbon is directly in front of the red carbon. When we rotate it this way, so that we're looking at this molecule now from the side and the blue carbon is on the right, that green hydrogen is now going to be facing us. And so because it's facing us and it's coming out of the paper, it's going to have a wedge. So we can draw it H1. And now we have to focus on that hydrogen 2 over here. And so it was coming out the right-hand side of the Newman on an upward direction, so we know it's going to be coming out upwards on the chain. But now it's also, um, because of the way that we're staring at the Newman with the blue carbon in front of the red carbon, and since we're rotating again uh, this way, that H2 is now, that hydrogen number 2 is going to be pointed now towards the back of the paper. It's going to be coming out of the paper, right, away from us. So we're going to have to draw it dashed because that's what that dashed represents an atom coming away from us hydrogen 2. And so now let's compare this Newman projection that we just drew with the one that we had here. The red carbon hydrogens didn't change, right? We still have everything in the exact same place. And here, actually, I'll just move this up so that we can better see it. All right. But what happened is we rotated all the hydrogens here, right? We rotated them. And what we did is essentially 
you take this carbon, imagine your hand is just um, grabbing it, whatever, and all you're doing is spinning it on that single bond. So we're spinning it around that, all right? And so now it's going to be with the, where the hydrogen, the green hydrogen over here, used to be in the plane of the paper coming out downward. It's now going to be coming out towards us on an upward angle. So now it's going to be right there. All right, and so now we can compare also these Newman structures with each other, right? The difference between them is that green hydrogen rotated, and essentially you can think of it as displacing that hydrogen label two, hydrogen label three, and they all rotated all around uh, that one bond, this one bond, all right? And so that was a 120 degree rotation. On the next video, we're going to be talking about we're going to go through every single rotation possible or every all the major rotations and we're going to talk about how that can affect the struct um, the uh, stability of the molecule after we cover that topic we're going to be going into more detailed structures with new more complex structures with newman projections because they're, they're not always as easy as a ch3 ch3 molecule all right and so if something didn't make sense in this video uh, please contact me or a TA. We'd be happy to answer your questions. Um, and of course, there's always the lecture and outside resources to help you as well. But again, please, um, please don't hesitate to contact us. And I'll see you guys in the next video.